I'm on a mountaintop in Chile, next door to where the Vera Rubin Observatory has been opened. It is one of the darkest skies in the world, which is why the Vera Rubin is here. Let's head over there. The newest telescope in the world it holds two Guinness World Records for the largest camera and the largest lens. And it's going to look at the entire southern sky 330 nights a year for the next 10 years. The Vera Rubin Observatory is going to help us understand things like what is the large scale structure of dark matter across the universe, or how fast is the universe actually expanding because of dark energy, or is there actually a planet nine or not out past Neptune? It will also do a solar system survey, so that's going to give us an understanding of more asteroids and comets. It's going to show us thousands more of these, including trans-Neptunian objects. And it will also help us map the Milky Way and catch fast moving objects in the sky. And that's because the Vera Rubin is going to be making essentially a time lapse video of the universe. They're going to be taking these images every three nights and then stacking them. And once the Vera Rubin produces these incredible deep images, astronomers around the world are going to have access to them so that they can analyze them and point other observatories at these perhaps surprising astronomical events that we might not have expected to see. Astronomers often tell us, we think we know what's going on, but once the Vera Rubin Observatory comes online, then we'll really have the answers. And we're at that moment now. The telescope is on, they're taking the first data, and we're about to get the first look images of this deep survey of the universe. And the answers are to come.